Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at simplifying fractions, where we're going to take fractions and we're going to reduce them into smaller uh, equivalents. This becomes really helpful later when we do uh, multiplication of fractions and division of fractions. We'll be able to simplify as we go along. So knowing how to simplify makes uh, our calculations a lot easier. So let's get started. First, we're going to start off with some definitions. So a prime number is an integer greater than one that is only divisible by one and itself. So notice that this is an integer, not just any kind of number like 3.2 or 7.6. It has to be an integer. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. And a composite number is an integer greater than one that is not prime. So let's look at some examples. So the prime numbers at the very beginning are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, etc. Composite numbers at the beginning are 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. So note all co composite numbers can be written as a product of primes. So if you look here, 4, we can write that as 2 times 2, 6, 2 times 3, 8, 2 times 2 times 2, and 9, 3 times 3. So all of these are primes like that. So all composite numbers can be rewritten as a product of primes. So to write a larger number as a product of primes, we can write the number as a product of smaller numbers. We then break down those smaller numbers, and we continue this process until we reach a product of primes. So let's look at some examples. So example one, write these numbers as a product of primes. So we'll start with 24 here as our first example. And we're going to rewrite that as 6 times 4. That's just one way we can write 24, 6 times 4. And then now this 6 here, we can break it up as 2 times 3. And the 4 here, we can break it up as 2 times 2. So 24 is a product of prime numbers. Now it's important to notice that any approach is okay. Instead of 6 times 4, maybe you saw 2 times 12. And we said, okay, well 2 is prime, so now we're going to break up 12, 3 times 4. And now we're going to break up 4, 2 times 2. And you notice that it gives the same answer of product of primes, regardless of how you factor the number 24. So any approach is okay. My tip to you is as soon as you see a, a a factor, write it out right away and then break whatever it is you got afterwards like that. As soon as you see a factor, go ahead and break it up. So example number two, uh, example B here, 115. So I notice it ends in five. So I want to divide 115 by five uh, because I know five is a factor. That's what stands out to me right away. So we do the long division here, 115 divided by five, and we get 23 which is a prime number. So 115 is five times 23, like that. Okay, number C, 70. So 70 I noticed as seven times 10. Seven is prime, so it stays the same, and 10 breaks up as two times five. So seven times two times five. D, 126. So what jumped to me right away is that it's even, so it's 2 times something, 2 times 63. And notice here 63 can be broken up as 21 times 3. And 21, I noticed that we can break that as 3 times 7. So there's our prime factorization, 2 times 3 times 7 times 3. Uh, some teachers ask for you to write the uh, product of primes from smallest to greatest. So here would be written 2, 5, 7. And here it'd be written 2, 3, 3, 7. But you don't have to. This is just a matter of preference. And it might look a little neater. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So practice. Write these numbers as a product of primes. There you go. So go ahead and pause the video and answer this first question. Okay, we're back. So 20. Notice this as 2 times 10, and 10 can be divided into 2 times 5 as such. 84, 21 times 4, 
break up 21 3 times 7, break up 4 2 times 2, and there we have it. 120. 10 times 12, breaking up the 10 as 2 times 5, 12 3 times 4, breaking up the 4 as 2 times 2 as such. So 2, 5, 3, 2, 2. 315, we notice that it ends in 5, so we can divide by 5. We perform long division and we get 5 times 63. 63 is 21 times 3. Break up 21 into 3 times 7. And there is your prime factorization. Okay, moving on. Uh, Cancelling explained. So what we're going to do now is when we're simplifying, we're going to say, okay, well, we notice there's a 3 in common with both of them. So bang, bang. We're getting rid of those threes and what's left is two on the top and five on the bottom. And so what is this bang bang? What is this cancellation? So I'm going to show you all of the steps so that you know it's not magic. We can't just do whatever we want. So here 6 over 15 is the same as 2 times 3 and 3 times 5 on the bottom as such. I'm going to rewrite this as 5 times 3. And now here, usually when we multiply fractions, we think of bringing them together. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the top as such and multiply the bottom as such. So here we're putting them together. But we can also go the other way where we break them up. 2 times 3 here, break it up as 2 times 3 as such. So we break up the top and bottom. Now 3 divided by 3 is 1. Any number over itself, except for 0, is 1. And now we have 2 fifths times 1, which is 2 fifths, right? Anything times 1 is just that number. So we notice we go from 6 fifteenths to 2 fifths, two, two fifths, seeing all of the work as such. And when we're, what we're going to do is this kind of work. We're just going to go bang, bang, and what's left is 2 and 5 as such. So I'm going to do another example right here. So 42 over 70. I notice right away that there's 7 in common. So I go bang bang. What's left on top is 6 and what's left on bottom is 10 when we go get divide by 7 on top and bottom. And then what's left is 6 over 10. But there's a 2 in common there. So bang bang. What's left is 3 and what's left is 5. And so our final answer here on the top is 3. Bottom is 5. So 3 fifths is what 42 over 70 reduces to. And I'm going to show you all the steps right now so you see it. So 42 is 6 times 7. 70 is 10 times 7. So we're going to break up. We're going to separate that multiplication here. So we have 7 over 7. We're going to rewrite 6 as 2 times 3 and 10 as 2 times 5. This 7 over 7 gets reduced to 1. And we're going to rewrite it as 3 times 2 over 5 times 2 as such. And we're going to break it up. So we have 3 fifths times 2 over 2, which is 1, like that. So 2 over 2 becomes 1 as such. So 1 times 3 fifths is 3 fifths. So you can cancel as you go, as shown above. Or you can write out the number as a product of primes and then cancel. So let's see what that looks like, writing out as a product of primes. So here we have 315 divided by 15. Earlier, we already uh, factored this out, so it becomes 3357 divided by 3 times 5. And so we notice here that 3, divi 3 divided by 3, these cancel out to be a 1. So that's where this first one comes. And then 5, bang, bang here, what's left is 1. So on the top, we have 3 times 1 times 1 times 7 gives 21. And on the bottom, we have 1 times 1 equals 1. So our final reduction is 21. I myself prefer canceling as you go. But if you want to write out a product of primes and then cancel, there's no problem. Whatever is more comfortable for you. So quick notice that we are multiplying. We're not getting addition factors. We're multiplying factors. 
And uh, some people might say, oh, if it's a plus, you can just cancel just for the fun of it. You can't do that when it's not an addition. It has to be multiplication. So let's do some examples here. 12 over 18. I noticed that uh, 6 is a common factor. So I divide by 6, top and bottom. What's left is 2. And on the bottom, what's left is 3. And these do not reduce anymore. So it's 2 thirds. So any common factor can be canceled. It can be a composite or prime, it doesn't matter. As soon as you see a common factor, you cancel that out right away. B, 30 over 70. We notice that there's a 10 in common there. Cancel that out. What's left is three over seven, and this does not reduce anymore. C, 175 divided by 14. So we notice that there's a 7 or a 2 on the bottom, and this is not even. So let's see if 7 divides into it. So we do long division, divided by 7, and we get 25. So we cancel out the 7s, and what's left is 25 over 2, which does not reduce anymore. Okay, practice. There you go. So go ahead and pause the video and simplify these fractions. Okay, we're back. So 147 over 77. We notice that there's a seven in common, top and bottom. Long division, remainder is 21. So 21 over 11 is our final answer as it does not reduce anymore. B, we notice that there's 21 in common. So bang, bang, what's left on the bottom is one. What's left on the top is two. Two over one reduces to two. 26 over 39. You notice that there's 13 in common. 13 times 2, 13 times 3. 13s cancel out, bang, bang. What's left is 2 thirds. D, 78 over 54. So I notice that there's a 2 in common. So we get rid of that, bang, bang. So we have 39 over 27. And then we notice that there's a 3 in common. So bang, bang, what's left is 9, what's left is 13. And this does not simplify anymore, so we have 13 over 9 as our final answer. 115 over 46, we can rewrite that as 5 times 23 and 2 times 23. Cancel out the 23s, what's left is 5 over 2. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.